Peace, peace, family. Today, let's talk about voodoo versus hoodoo. And what's the difference? What voodoo is not, it is not a religion. Voodoo is a way of life. And for the ones that say it is a religion, who understand the deeper science behind the word religion, they really mean to be as a taboo or as a way of life. Not religion as a dogma or religious indoctrination. People have to understand that in the age of Aquarius, everybody's waking up on a massive level as opposed to the, the age of Pisces where you can, where you could blindly put the truth out in front of your eyes and you wouldn't even catch it. So, in this awakening, a lot of people are leaving religion, Christianity at most, and are starting to get back to their spiritual practices. They're hopping into the Orish communities, Voodoo communities, what and what not. The only problem is that some of them carry over their religious dogma or religious indoctrination. So what happens is they switch they switch the templates, you know, the templates, you know, Jesus becomes Obatala. You see what I'm saying? So, um, in that, you know, there is no spiritual development. So what is voodoo? Well, voodoo simply means spirit, but voodoo is a way of life. You know, depending on your discipline and what part of spirituality that you practice or what your path is, Whatever you do is part of your way of life. So, you know, voodoo is in everything. You know what I'm saying? Because voodoo is a science, the higher sciences. It's our science. So in voodoo, you know, trying to master spirit, trying to work with spirit, you know, working with the forces of nature, the elements, you know, the element of air, earth, water, and fire. You know, if you deal with the low laws, then you're dealing with the laws. You see what I'm saying? And in the end, the main goal is to become a low law. You know what I mean? Like, in other words, to become an ascended master. You know what I mean? Like, that's the final step and in, 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 in level. You know, once you transition, when we're not, you know, you become an ascended master. You know, so you know it's a practice. You know, something that that is done every breath and every step. Um, and understanding this, we also understand that there are also generators, operators, and destroyers because everything deals with duality, you know, without balance. So, you know, you have two type of spirits dealing with the low eyes. And that's the Rod of spirits and the fetwa. You know. Or, you know, they could be deemed as the petro spirits, depending on how you want to say it. Because voodoo is a mix, you know, you got African, you got French, you got Creole, so, yeah, you know, it's kind of like jumbo. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, a gumbo, you know what I mean? It's like a mix, what it would not. But, uh, you know, you have to understand the different elements, even dealing with, you know, the barons and the baronesses. You know, you have Baron Sandi, who is Lord of the Gedes. He is not a Loa. You know, you have Maman Bridget. So, that's kind of, you know, a basis of what Moodoo is. In its, in its pure essential nature. You know, it's a science, it's the science. You know, it's dealing with spirit, you know, dealing with the elements, you know, dealing with, you know, the energies of the planets, Mother Earth, you know. It's universal knowledge, you know, it's our knowledge. Now, what is hoodoo? Hoodoo is more of the root work. So, like, that's like the spell casting. You know, working with the candles, what and what not. You know, dressing your candles with your oils, 
herbs, what what not. You know, any different little bitty uh, spells and incantations, you know, because it goes hand in hand. So when people say, Oh, you know, well I work with a lot of candle magic with and with not, you know, so I'm doing voodoo, you know. You know, I, I dress candles, you know, I do root work, you know what I mean? I dress my, you know, my candles with, with, with herbs, you know, oils and things of that nature, you know. I use the power of the Psalms. No, that's not voodoo. That's hoodoo. You see what I'm saying? That's like the witchcraft, you know what I mean? It, but it all goes in hand, you know, it all goes hand to hand and ties, it ties together, you know what I mean? So, you can't, you know, you don't really want one without the other. But see, once you understand that it's a science, then you understand that the consecration of your altar and the receiving of your bees and legates, you know, is the total sum of everything. When in reality, when you become the Loa that you're working with, you become the God, the Goddess, you become the Orisha that you're working with, you know, then you realize that you are the altar. Your mind is an altar, and you can alter minds. Oof, that was deep. Let me slow down. So, um, and doing with voodoo. Budan. A lot of people don't know that there's many different aspects of voodoo, right? It's not the same. So if you're dealing with West Africa, dealing with Benin, the Dahomey, you know, you probably deal with Mamiwata, which is totally different from the Haitian voodoo. Because in the Haitian voodoo, they have their own type of energies. Kind of like Erzuli Danto, you know, La Sirene. La Sirene. To me, in my opinion, it's another archetype of Mami Wata. You know, she's more of the old world. That was when it was, you know, originally called Juju. Once brought over to the new world, when the Catholic Church tried to impose, or tried to impose Catholicism during the Middle Passage, when it went not throughout, you know, the transatlantic slave trade, um, they simply did was they put the Loas to the saints. And for those that deal with the Orishas, they put the Orishas to the saints. So, you know, then it became voodoo, you know, because it's a mix. You know, in Santeria, you know, you can match the Orishas to the saints or whatever aspect that you follow. So, talking more of voodoo, voodoo, then you have voodoo in Dominican Republic, which is 21 divisions. See what I'm saying? It's a little more complex. You know, in the Haitian voodoo, voodoo is also different from the New Orleans voodoo. You know what I mean? And proof of that is that I bet you, then the Haitian voodoo, you know, you have the ten barons, the three baronesses, you have the three chiefs of passage, you have Papa Legba, you have, which, you know, which there are 21 past Papa Legba as well, you have Baron Samedi. But I bet you they don't have Marie LeVay. You see what I'm saying? So different many aspects of voodoo or working with spirit. But you know, I kinda wanna put that out there that, you know, voodoo is not hoodoo. So now you know the difference. And I kinda gave you my philosophy on it. But other than that, uh, peace family, peace.